If you found this video, it's clear that you understood that you need to change your diet, keep watching, and you'll thank me later. I lost three pounds this week. And I had milkshakes and custard donuts for breakfast. That's a quote I just received from one of my clients named Melissa Stewart. And as hard as it must be for you to believe, I get quotes like that all the time. But no matter how many times it happens, it never ceases to make me smile. And I'm about to make you smile too. Because if you stick around for just a couple of minutes on this short and shocking video, you're going to learn a weird and totally unknown way I lost two inches off my waistline in just seven days and six inches in just two weeks. And you'll do it without ab crunches, without counting calories, without gastric bypass surgery, and without any extreme cardio routines, such as CrossFit, P90X, or Insanity. And you'll do it while still eating your favorite foods. Foods like brownies, pizza, cheesecake, and ice cream. In fact, none of these foods will spoil your weight loss. I don't expect you to believe any of that. I just ask that you give me a chance to explain. I know your eyes probably rolled over with the claim I just made and the words, here we go again, another fad diet that doesn't work. And that's because the vast majority of people making promises like these have no scientific data to back it up. They are not real weight loss sufferers or experts. They're marketers basically just throwing up Photoshop before and after photos to make a buck. Their hype and bull angers me just as much as it angers you. And if you're ready to cut through all of that clutter and get to the real truth about weight loss, you're in exactly the right place. Hi, I'm Chrissy Miller. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a nutritionist. I'm not a guest lecturer at Yale University. But you know what I am? I'm you. I'm a real woman, not an actor. I'm 43 years old. I've had three babies, each of which added about 20 pounds. And because of that, I know exactly what you're going through. The shame, the pants you can't fit into, the binging, the scale anxiety. I get it. I care about it. And I care about you just as much as I care about my own weight loss. I guess I was just born that way. I like helping people. And that's the only reason I'm here today talking to you. The work I've done until now has made some waves that I'm proud of. Bodybuilders Daily called me the woman who's five years ahead of the weight loss industry. I love that compliment. And maybe that's because I don't leave it to the men in white lab coats to tell me what works. I find out what works through my own experience, the experience of my clients that I keep very close contact with. Do you think the scientists with all the grants they have take the time to really listen to the woman to find out why she failed? Or is she just another statistic? And to me, finding what really works for the average woman isn't something we can wait for. I know we don't always see it this way, but the weight loss problem is an epidemic which is literally killing us by the millions. Because absolutely every disease known to man is made worse by being overweight. What really bothered me about the weight loss problem is that we have so many diets. And the truth is, many of them work, but nobody is sticking to them for more than a month. This happened to me. Yes, I counted. 19 times I tried 19 diets. And the longest I stayed on any of them was three months. And I almost gave up and decided I was going to die fat. But I still had a little more fight left in me. I figured if I'm going to stay on a diet, I needed a solution that was easier, more fun, and more effortless. That way, a diet would become something people could actually stick to for life without being miserable. Is that too much to ask? Well, guess what? I found that solution, and I'm going to share it with you in just a second. It's the most exciting breakthrough in weight loss I've seen in over 10 years. So get focused, shut off your smartphone, close the door, and get a pen and paper. And make sure you stick this video out until the very end. I promise you won't regret it. In fact, 
the end of this video may decide whether you struggle with your love handles forever or if you enjoy a slim and sexy life. You're going to learn that hitting your weight loss goals is a lot easier than you ever thought. You're going to learn how with a few tweaks you can actually eat all of your favorite foods, including chocolate, grilled cheese, and sushi, and continue losing weight. That's right. The same foods that have been destroying your diets will actually become part of your weight loss plan. I know how crazy that sounds, and I don't blame you. After all, the very first thing we're told when we start any diet is to eliminate these foods from our life. But ask yourself, where has that gotten us? With 34% of Americans obese, that's where this advice has gotten us. And why would you expect anything different? If these foods really are our favorite foods, how can we expect someone to stop eating them for the rest of their lives and think that's going to work? Every single diet out there, by its very nature, is set up to fail before they even get off the ground. Sure, most folks can give up those foods for a little while, but there's a pattern there. There are well-grooved neural pathways that want and need those favorite foods, especially when you're stressed out which we all are at times. So it might not be today, it might not be tomorrow, but eventually the craving wins the day. It's just basic psychology. The idea of slim, sexy body someday in the future is great, but it just can't compete with the double-decker chocolate fudge cake with frosting that's in front of us right now. So until today, we've all been stuck in a can't have it all situation we can either have the pleasure of our favorite foods or the pleasure of a great body, not both. It's a problem and a problem that was ruining my marriage, sucking the confidence right from under me. Peace and happiness in my life was gone. And honestly, I didn't know where to turn because even the nutritionists had failed me and I tried many. I didn't just get fat from these pregnancies. I blew up. I mean, it was worth it. Don't get me wrong. Have a look. My daughter Rebecca is 11 now. My other daughter Chris is nine. And my daughter Sophie at five years old. After Sophie, I weighed in at 182 pounds and I couldn't lose it. It was around that time I came down for water late at night and I caught my husband Jerry ogling at scantily clad girls on Instagram. He claims he clicked the wrong link. Guess what? I looked back at the history. Every girl he was watching was skinny. Skinnier than I was anyways. Gross. He had never done anything like this before. But then I realized we really weren't having sex as much as we used to. I cornered him at one point and asked him point blank, are you still attracted to me? I mean, I'm nowhere near petite. I could tell he wanted to crawl into a hole. Of course I am, honey. What do you mean? I've been attracted to you from day one. After I thought about it, I realized he had just said he was attracted to me on day one. That was the emphasis. No comment specifically about today. I didn't believe him anymore and got uncomfortable being naked in front of him. And when the intimacy falls apart, the whole marriage drops. We all know that. We started pulling further and further apart to the point we had nothing to talk about but the kids. Us didn't exist anymore. And that hurt like hell. Every time I heard the garage door open, I used to get excited. Now I was wishing he had stayed late. I started to question if this marriage was going to last. Then there was the wait. My waistline was 42 inches, which meant I was at risk for diabetes, which was scary because diabetes runs in my family. I tried raw food, I tried vegetarian, I tried low calorie, I tried low carb, I tried no carb. Intense cardio programs, and I'm not gonna tell you that these strategies didn't work, they did work for a while. But like so many people, I just couldn't stick to any of them. And here's what got me every time. I'm from a family of incredible bakers 
and eating baked goods like cake and chocolate chip cookies were the ultimate comfort food for me. Each time I felt down, I turned to those comfort foods and the diet was over. I got on a really bad streak with rebound after rebound leaving me bigger than I've ever been, which really got me panicking. I was ready to give up. I was crying in the bathroom because I had just checked the scale and it carried bad news. The door actually opened and it was Jerry and I could see a lot of real sympathy in his eyes. He said, another one bites the dust? Through my tears I mustered, yeah, I'm giving up. This is my life, I'm going to be fat forever. He said, nope, we're not going that route. Failure is not an option. My husband is a genius with problem solving, but I guess I just never thought to ask him about this. He said, no, this isn't going to happen. What did he have up his sleeve? He said, I know you've tried every diet out there, so we're going to come up with something entirely new. And after a hug that lasted about 10 minutes, we got right to work. We devoured everything the library had to offer, as well as grassroots weight loss innovators called biohackers, which if you don't know, are extremely innovative grassroots researchers who are constantly coming up with new ways to unlock your body's potential. The answer we were looking for actually came from a place you wouldn't expect, an online forum. It was one of the longest posts I'd seen on the forum. His article was 21 pages of text. And I think that prevented a lot of people from reading it from start to finish. In fact, the thread was over a year old and had no comments. I started reading and I immediately knew I was dealing with someone who was very well versed in all the latest research on weight loss. He was honest and objective. He was an outside the box thinker and he had a completely unique perspective on the weight loss problem. I was amazed when he spoke of a few tweaks that allow you to incorporate desserts and junk food into a diet without affecting the results. He claimed that with these tweaks, dieting will actually become fun. He also mentioned a secret ingredient that you can take before you eat that speeds up the fat burning even more. He cited a lot of research. We started to look up his sources and sure enough, everything he was saying was backed by hard science. Eureka! Suddenly, it was crystal clear what we needed to do. We began developing a new weight loss system that would work on these principles. And once we had it fully mapped out, we realized this is gonna be a breakthrough for every man and woman who has ever battled with a diet and lost. It took two weeks for us to track down all the ingredients we needed, but we finally managed to find all of them. So we waited for them to arrive, excited to get started. I can remember that night like it was yesterday. Jerry came over to the couch where I was reading. He walked over and plopped a milkshake down to me on the coffee table. I had a perplexed look on my face. I said, honey, that's sweet, but you know I'm trying to keep the weight down. I mean, that's what we've been working on all week. Why tempt me like this, Jerry? Do you trust me, he said. I said, sorta. He said, good enough, just drink it. It's a different kind of milkshake. It's really something special. I took one sip and my eyes lit up instantly. I grabbed him by the shirt and said, Jerry, that's the most delicious milkshake I've ever had. He said, glad you like it. You can drink that every day if you want to. We finally got all the ingredients we were waiting for. I jumped up with excitement. At last, we had the secret ingredients, the ones everyone in the weight loss industry forgot to tell you about. With these secret ingredients added to my food and a few more simple tweaks, I wasn't just able to drink milkshakes, I was able to eat all kinds of stuff. Chips, donuts, brownies, it didn't really matter. This was a completely new kind of diet, a diet that didn't feel like a diet at all but would it actually work? This was the real shocker. Most weight loss programs take some time before you can see any results. 
When I stepped on the scale, I found that after just three days, I'd already lost one pound. After five days, I'd lost three pounds. And after 12 days, I'd lost six pounds. The weight was literally falling right off me. After just four months, I had entirely lost all of my baby weight and even five pounds more for good measure. We gave each other the biggest hug the day I weighed in at 123, down from 221. I'll never forget the day I walked into the room with my head held tall as I was fitting snugly into my pre-maternity t-shirt and skinny jeans. I was beaming. What I saw in the mirror was a new woman. My smile came back, my posture changed, my face got brighter. I started to go out again, even to the beach. And as far as our relationship was concerned, I felt like we were on our honeymoon all over again. Best part, there was zero desire to go off the diet because I could still eat all my favorite foods. That meant zero hunger and zero loss of energy at any time. My body was loving it just as much as I did. So what was the secret? What was in the milkshake? And how did it change my life forever? Let Thanks for watching, and don't forget to click the link below in order to find out more.